Okay, YouTube. It's time to get real. Most videos I see around are of greater rift tiers of around 125 with and the builds that they see are perfect builds with augments with uh, primals and completely started out gear and most people think well I can do that really quickly I can get there no problem and the truth is you can't right you have to go through the long process of trying to find specific items for those builds and then not only find those items but then find the perfect matching skills and attributes to that item this is not me slating Diablo 3 favorite game of all time I've put thousands of hours into this but I've never seen a video that ever goes through and explains yeah you're gonna have to do about 200 riffs just to get the normal legendaries and then another 200 to get decent ancient ones. And then you have to do another 200 to do to get some primals. One or two primals. The grind is real, people. I just wanted you to see that this is just me running some rifts on a wave of light build trying to get a Pinto's Pride. Check this out. Watching back your uh, gameplay footage is fairly hypnotic when at a fast pace, especially running the uh, wave of light builds with your your monk or you know your unhallowed builds with your demon hunter. They're fairly fun to watch. Um, the rifts usually take around three to three and a half minutes uh, at this level for me with this character. Um, the reason I am, you know, you can see that I'm melting character, you know, bosses here and elites, but. The reason that you keep it at lower level is because you can do more of them and then treat, you know, uh, I think the saying is uh, treat Tristram as lava um, or treat home as lava to just try and make sure that you get through as many as possible. Now, this isn't the perfect way to farm. and This isn't a video about showing you how to farm um, greater rift keys. It's just showing you that you can get to the point place where all the other... YouTubers are or all the videos that we see online or on the leaderboards for example with the primals But to get there you have to put in a lot of time and, and I don't think that's really um, Highlighted much in videos. So again, this is why I'm putting this video together This was a nice pack of elites, by the way. This was really uh, a good way to end a rift. Um, I've got like a habit of trying to, even though the rift guardian's out, I still need to collect the uh, the, the loot and the drop that elites give, uh, the, the little time balls. Just a bit of a weird habit I've got. Uh, so in this rift, uh, I actually got Jack. Uh, so it wasn't successful, but I managed to get some key, greater rift keys and some blood shards. So moving on to the other rift. Again, this, this is what you have to do. You have to try and power through as many rifts as possible. Keep going and keep going and keep going. Doing that grind to get just one item. One item that you need. Um, it, <laughs> it does take so much effort and time. And not everybody's got it, right? Um, there is another element to this, and that's luck. Right, luck always plays a part in this, in these sorts of um, games. But luck, Paragon level, uh, and time—they're the three things that play into Diablo 3. But that shouldn't stop you enjoying it. This is, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is not me slating Diablo 3. This is just showing that you know this is what we have to go through to get to those higher Paragons and higher levels and higher GRs. It's—it is true, and it is a you know. This is life. This is D3, baby.
So, yep, just got my Greater Rift Keys. Didn't actually get anything again. Um, yeah, let's just move on to the next one. I did kind of do a little bit of a sweep around just in case an Elite drops something, but, you know, this is the T8 grind, baby. Moving swiftly on to my next one. Yep. This was quite a good rift, actually, because it was all in one place. So it only took me about two and a half minutes. Um, at all the elites, there's one layer, one layer, one one level. Sorry. Um, but yeah, didn't get nothing again. So. Yep, and once more, got jack shit. Well, when I say jack shit, I mean jack shit relevant to the build. You do get items, but... Yeah. Got nothing. Donada.
So you guys have seen five greater rifts, and I didn't get anything in that. It's only five. It's around 20, 30 minutes of playtime, depending on, you know, going back and forth to the town and stuff. Uh, but yeah, didn't get nothing out of the rifts. Luckily, though, using Can Ice Cube, I upgraded a rare item, and luckily I managed to get uh, Pinto's Pride. Uh, but, you know, I did about 20 rifts before this video, so the grind is real, people. Keep up the good fight. I hope you like this video. Let's just keep it real. Thanks.